sticking with the Bills. Tonight, Marcel Darius is facing the cameras for the first time since news broke of his four-game suspension. 7 Eyewitness Sports Director Joe B. is in Pittsburgh. Joe, Darius is giving his side of the story today. Well, Ashley, the Buffalo Bills have certainly had their fair share of things that have gone wrong this summer, and the suspension to Marcel Darius might be chief among them. And for the star defensive lineman, he was suspended for four games by the NFL. That came down yesterday. And as you pointed out, for the first time today, he met with reporters and talked about that exact suspension. Darius said that the suspension is for a missed drug test and not a failed one. So now he'll be down for the first four games of the year. He said he found out about the suspension after Saturday's game and then promptly told the Bills, even if that didn't add up with head coach Rex Ryan saying just moments before that he didn't find out until everyone else did a day or two ago. When the Bills released their statement on the matter yesterday, they made mention that Darius put himself first in front of the rest of the organization with his actions, but Darius says that's usually not the norm for him. I'll put myself last for the most part, and I'm a big-hearted person, and I never put myself first. I mean, you, you watch me play, you'll see that. I mean, it's not about me. I sacrifice myself, I mean, sacrifice myself for my family. I mean, so it's not, it's never about me. But everyone makes dumb decisions. Nobody's perfect. Now, Darius wasn't the only Bills player in the news for negative reasons. Manny Lawson found his name attached to some alarming lingo, and he was dumbfounded by it. My colleague Matt Beauvais will have more on that coming up in 7 Eyewitness News at 530. But as for Darius, you can read every single comment that he made today, including words from both head coach Rex Ryan and general manager Doug Whaley about the suspension. That's all available for you right now on WKBW.com. Live in Pittsburgh, Joe Biscalia, 7 Eyewitness News. Okay, thank